welcome back we talk about the lagos federation cup now talking about the fa cup mm -hmm. in lagos the draw was held yesterday with about 80 clubs for the men and also 12 for the female for the the registered for this year's edition of the lagos fa cup uh, draw so for the lagos fa cup yeah. so the draw had yesterday in lagos and you have the teams they'll definitely be knowing their opponents of course i mean that's it is well, that's how it is now so they just all the teams that have you know registered have to just you know start getting ready um the big teams in quotes um you know the likes of mfm you know um cod and this, champions yeah MFM. so all these teams all these teams know is the fa cup they know upsets are bound to happen so uh they can't afford to uh take any uh opposition lightly um at all so um fa cup it is knockout you know so it's always very interesting very exciting just like you have fa cup matches all around the world and um, especially in england where we see a lot of upsets and we saw lincoln and sutton going all the way uh this um this year's edition of the fa cup in england so uh, i'm looking forward to seeing something uh similar in lagos okay we'll, we'll listen to them now what they saying concerning the draws and some of the coaches the expectations before the tournament start in april yeah this year's uh, lagos state uh fa cup is going to witness 80 men club and 12 women club participation and all matches will kick off on the 3rd of April through to the 6th of May for the women finals and the men finals on the 7th of May. And as a tradition, we always have a seminar for the major tournaments and that's why we're here today for the FA Cup seminar to enlighten the participants on the rules and regulations of the tournament, have uh, on sports medicine, on the amendment to the laws of the game, and also to have what we call the FIFA Integrity Initiative discussion with them. So all this put together, we're sure of having a successful tournament this year. Instead of the, the, of the women, what about the, about the men? I mean, what, what also the teams that will be involved and all that? Yeah, we have 80 uh, clubs in the men category participating including the premiership sides mfm and the nnl sides equally united you have the my people you have uh, first bank and you have um, uh, as racing as well in nnl so fa cup is all about putting together the amateur grassroots teams the premiership so it's a game of no second chances we suppose that i've been playing the FA Cup for the past five years, but I, I just joined them uh, towards the end of last year. And uh, it's an academy which uh, I believe we are going to make. We are not just coming there to make, uh, uh, make up numbers. We want to make there and make up something. Because being a veteran of uh, FA Cup, I'm a winner three times with Julius Berger and uh, Stationary Stores. And so also, I'm a veteran uh, in the FA Cup uh, as a coach. So we are not just going up there to make up the number. We want at least we want to make an impact. I want to show the boys as I have done it before as a, as a, as a player. I want to show them as a coach that at least I can, we can get somewhere. We've been on it for the past six months, playing some friendly matches, top friendly matches, to enhance their performance and to see where we are lacking so that we work on it before we go for the competition. But welcome back. And of course, we will be talking golf this morning. We have a young girlfriend in the house. She's 16 years old and she's won almost all the accolades you can think about. When you have a girl at 16 and she, she's playing golf, she's been to the LPGA Tour and some other major tournaments and all that, you will understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Georgia Obo. She has achieved a whole lot at a very, very tender age. A sports personality, yes, of course, you will say. Uh, and now at seven, she's already won the HSBC We Won This Golf Grand Slam in the UK uh, in the finals at St. Andrews. That's a big one. That was a Scotland uh, a junior uh, champion talking about the British Junior Golf Tour Winter Finals as well as the UK Pink Young Masters Golf for Junior Golf accomplishment it's a whole lot i mean you, you just go on and on and on about how but we'll just go through a few of the achievements we we're able to come up with and in 2009 she competed 
again in the HSBC We won this and won at the Grand Slam Finals, thus becoming uh, the British champion and the youngest Nigerian ever, or also an African, to play in US GA Women Open qualifiers, Lois Handicap Girl and Lady Club in Nigeria. And also, she won the African Junior Championship stage at IBB Golf and Country Club in Abuja in Nigeria. That was two years in a row in 2012 and also 2013. And the only Nigeria to qualify and play in the U.S. Kids World Championships six years in a row, 2009 to 2015. Now, that is huge. Just wait for more. The first African competitor to win the U.S. Kids World Golf Championship when she was just... 14 and became the teen world champion in the girls category at a very tender age of 14 and first African also to play in the LPGA that's the ladies professional golf association tour in Pelsic in Bahamas qualifier that was just in January this year there's just so much where do we stop she's also been invited to play in the VP Bank ladies European tour event in May that's coming up in May and also the first African to play in the history of this event. Well, Georgia Obo, she is in the house, and also the mother, Evelyn Obo, she is also in the house. Good morning and good to have you. Good morning. Thanks. Thank you. Great to be here. I, I mean, I, I had like uh, three pages of it, but I had to like, let me just, you know, <laughs> highlight right. some of the high points yeah. and all that. It's been wonderful. At seven already, you started winning championship. When did you actually start playing golf, Georgia? When I was 